In this video, we'll reset an unknown combination on a Kaba Simplex 5000 lock. There is no procedure for determining an unknown combination from the front of the lock. It can, however, be reset and recovered, or reset and changed, to a new combination. This procedure requires that the lock be removed completely from the door. Remove both the outside unit assembly and the inside unit assembly. Once the lock is off the door, Carefully remove the base plate from the outside unit assembly by removing the two Phillips screws. Remove the combination chamber assembly from the base plate by removing the two Phillips screws. Now, remove the three sided dust cover to fully expose the chamber by removing the two small Phillips screws. Newer models may only contain one screw. Hold the chamber by the top and bottom screw tabs. Rotate the reset cam back towards the key stems as far as it will go and then release. Looking at the code gears and the unlocking slide, note that some or all of the five code gear pockets are rotated away from the L-shaped legs as if they were out of alignment. Typically, each code gear pocket will be at a slightly different distance compared to the other. Sometimes, two different gear pockets are away from alignment by exactly the same distance. This indicates that the current combination uses two different number buttons, example, two and four, which are depressed at the same time as a part of the combination. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, depress the key stem or stems that correspond to the gear pockets which has been rotated to the farthest away and is out of alignment from the L-shaped leg. When depressed, the key stem or stems should stay down and the corresponding gear pocket or pockets should move closer to its corresponding L leg or closer to alignment. Record the key stem number. This is the first number of the combination. Continue by pressing the key stem that corresponds to the gear pocket that is the next furthest away. Do not include gear pockets that have already been rotated. Make sure to record each key stem number that is depressed. Continue this procedure until all five gear pockets are aligned with their corresponding L-shaped legs on the unlocking slide. The correct combination is the numbers recorded in the order recorded. If the wrong key stem is depressed by mistake, rotate the reset cam toward the key stems and release. This will reset the code gears. Align the code gear pockets with the L-shaped legs. Depress the combination change button located at the top of the combination chamber and release. Rotate the reset cam back toward the key stems as far as it will go and then release. Enter your new combination by depressing the key stems corresponding to the first number, one through five, of your combination. For example, if the new combination is three, two, five, then you would depress 3 first, then 2, and finally 5. Record this new combination for future reference. Push and release the black slide once, and the code change button will pop up. Next, fully rotate the reset cam. When you do, the code gears used in your new code will no longer align with the black L-shaped legs. Reinstall the three-sided dust cover Lay the base plate flat on your work surface. Reinstall the combination chamber assembly to the base plate with the two Phillips screws previously removed. Ensure the cams are in the orientation shown. The thin cam should rest against the black unlocking slide, while the thicker one rests against the piston. Place the outside lock assembly on the base plate. While holding the assembly together, turn the assembly over and reinstall the two Phillips screws removed earlier. Reinstall the lock on the door. With the door open, test the new combination by entering the numbers followed by the enter button and rotating the outside handle. The process is now complete. 